Welcome to the Crown Casino in Melbourne, Australia, where the world's finest poker players have traveled from across the globe to compete in the Southern Hemisphere's premier poker tournament. At stake, nearly seven and a half million dollars. FullTiltPoker.net presents the Aussie Millions. It started with the largest field ever outside of North America. Now, fewer than 200 players remain. And tonight, as many of poker's big names fight to survive, all eyes are on Melbourne native 2005 world champion, Joseph Hashem. The crown Aussie Millions is the feather in my cap that I'm looking for, believe me. And I keep saying it and I hope I just don't keep cursing myself, you know? Tonight, the champ stares across the table at one of the game's most underrated competitors. And Christy Gazes isn't giving an inch. I do want to take all those chips, and I will. This is my tournament. My time. Damn it. Let the games begin. From the beautiful Crown Casino in Melbourne, Australia, FullTiltPoker.net presents the Aussie Millions. We welcome you to the Crown Casino and Towers in Melbourne, Australia, home of the Aussie Millions for 2007. I'm Barry Tompkins, along with Michael Koenig. Poker room still filled. 144 players all hoping to be the next champion. Gus Hansen making time for his fans, as always. We'll check in on our chip leader, Shane Schlager. He has over 400,000 in chips. At our feature table, we've got the most popular player in the building, 2005 world champ and a Melbourne native, Joe Hashem. He'll be faced down by two of the top female players in the world, Christy Gazes and J.J. Liu, sporting the eyewear made famous by Greg Raymer. A look at our tournament update, 144 players remain. Average chip sack is 103,750. And as we said, Shane Schlager is our chip leader, the online qualifier with over 400,000. As you can see, no dominant player in chips at the table. That is our feature table. Everybody's close to the average. Christy Gazes has the most chips. J.J. Liu is fourth in chips. Joe Hashem, right where he's been most of the tournament, slightly below the average stack, but he's a guy you always have to be aware of. The blinds, 1,000 and 2,000, a 300 chip ante. And we're getting to a point in the tournament now where the blinds are worth stealing. This is Lothar Landauer looking at an ace 10. A poker pro from München from Munich, Germany. He's going to raise 4,600. 4, Gazes gets out of the way. So now Hashem with an ace 5 suited. We start already, huh? First hand. Michael. He's going to call. And going to the flop, the former world champion is not in good shape. Ace, eight, deuce on the flop. So now this should be very interesting. And this is the danger of calling with a weak kicker with your ace. When you do make the ace, if you're up against an opponent with a better kicker, you're basically drawing to one card. Landauer made it 10,000 and a call from Joe Hashem. And a three of clubs on the turn and a check. Hashem has picked up a gut shot straight draw, but Landauer still has the best hand. He checks it. And a nine on the river. And now let's see how this plays out. Watch it. Check from Hashem. Landauer bets out 15,000. Hashim all along was calling, thinking he had the best hand. He nothing has really changed with that nine, and Landauer is going to scoop a sixty-three thousand chip pot. Oh, so close, and that really nice hurts Hashim right there. Beautiful, nice start. Lose half your chips on the first hand. Playing on the home felt, no advantage right now for Joe Hashim. If you're new to the game of Texas Hold'em, here's how you play. Each player is dealt two down cards. Then players decide whether to call, raise, or fold. If two or more players remain, the community cards are dealt. The first three are called a flop, and they're followed by a round of betting. Next comes the turn card, more betting. And finally, the river card. What makes it no limit is that a player can bet all his or her chips at any time. This is called an all-in. In this case, players show their cards, and in all cases, the best five-card hand wins and takes the pot.
Well, let's check out the action at our outer tables. If you saw last week's show, you saw Patrick Antonius go from chip leader to 2,300 in chips. He currently has 4,600 chips. His fall was epic. And Patrick now on the verge of elimination against last year's Aussie hey, Mains champion, Lee Nelson. Jack six for Antonius, a seven for Nelson on the flop, four king queen. Antonius is dead to a jack or a six. Queen, no help. Six outs. He got it! Antonius, and again, absolutely does not change expression. Win big or lose big. And in this case, he survives and will play on. And here's another player at risk. Chris Ferguson all in against David Griffith's aces. Badly dominated on the flop. Oh, oh, and Ferguson caught the miracle nine for a full house. Looks like he is going to stick around for a little bit more poker. Oh, good. No, a bigger oh, full house. Oh, oh, no. That jack counterfeits Chris Ferguson, and he is, in fact, out of the Aussie Millions. Bad news for Chris, good news for everybody else. Now let's head back upstairs to our feature table. You know your head's crooked? It's a tell. If I put it straight, then I got a hand. <laughs> it should look smarter when it's on the side. Yeah. Straight, you look kind of goofy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> All right, you people, that's called fashion, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. <laughs> yeah, this table's full of fashion <laughs> disasters. Speaking of fashion, the glasses of J.J. Lou. Hashem with an ace king here. 55. 5,500. So Hashem raises to 5,500 with that ace king showing a little bit of power early on. He gets no takers. Told you, kid. The only time you caught me without a hand was your time. Every other time I have ace king, aces, queens. I never raise with anything less. I don't believe you. Christy knows. Am I playing with you, Will? No, but never. You, 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 you I still know. know. I know you just have the nuts every time. Show the nuts, Hash. Show the nuts. <laughs> Well, Australia's nuts about Joe as he looks to take home the championship in his hometown. Action here in Melbourne will continue. We welcome you back to the 2007 Aussie Millions. I'm Barry Tompkins. You know my partner, Michael Koenig. About 140 players left in this competition. And at our feature table tonight, two very interesting pros, I think, Michael. Joe Hashem and Christy Gazes. Christy Gazes is one of the most accomplished female players in the world. And she's had a bunch of success because she plays fearlessly. She's completely unintimidated by the competition. We also have Hashem, who is really a Melbourne hero. He won the 2005 World Championship. And Barry, a lot of people forget, before he had that victory, he was a practicing chiropractor here. We're going to see if he can't crack the competition. Hashem also won a WPT title in 2006. Really valuable.